What's up guys, Fury TV here, and we are back with another episode of Poker Hands. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos on a daily basis. Uh, Ask County paid, it's 11 paid. First prize, 300k. 300k Canadian, so what's that get you? Oh, I don't know. Four or five bucks. <laughs> so you know then. Lays down the Queen Jack. I reckon we'll take this hand to showdown. I think it's like a 25% difference, something like that, from the US dollar. I don't know. You guys and your funny money with. I like the money here because it's got the Queen on it. Yeah, that's that's what I care about in my money. <laughs> well, Louis, again with Ace Queen up against Kings. He avoided it last time. This time might not be so easy. It's the third time he's had to look at Queen. Oh, Ace Queen. All in. He does move all in. Oh. So, you know, we're going to get a chance oh. to win those chips back. Close to a 4 million chip pot here. It is, it is, I think, Zeno at risk. Slightly shorter stack, but a much better hand. Three years ago, Anthony Zeno won every single one of these. <laughs> Since then. <laughs> That's how you win a lot of titles. <laughs> Get it in good and hold. Are your hands freezing? Yeah. Are your hands really cold? Uh, Here yeah. we go then. They're Louis cool. looking oh, okay. for that <laughs> elusive ace. <laughs> there it is. Not that elusive. So elusive. Right in, the right in the window. Right in the window. Out she pops. Ace nine deuce. I believe it is Zeno at risk, so we may be able to lose him unless he can find one of those two remaining kings on the river. He you can't your stack. <laughs> I like it, do that. <laughs> you know, you pay, you pay. <laughs> Four on the river. Well, it's paired off, we'll see. It's going to be close. Tough one for Zeno. I like it though. Zeno pulling out all the live tricks there, the old uh, Can you just count your stack? <laughs> In his you get 100, 200 200 yellow. <laughs> This is although the ace is on the button. This is just not fair. Mark with ace seven in the big blind. Don't think it's going to fold. Don't. Pretty clear call for him, and just have to hope to not make too much on this block. Out of position against Isildur, and he's got aces. Not a spot you want to be in, and while 10-10-3. Okay. Ten, ten, Imagine Mark won't be folding this flop. I wanted to say that so I could be right about one. But <laughs> no, I take the easy ones. <laughs> I'm not sure, I just throw it over to you and let you fumble around. <laughs> Mark, of course, does make that call. Wow, <laughs> a 10 on the turn. Makes Check. Mark's hand look even a bit more. On the strong side. If you check here from Isildur, it's hard to get any action on the river anyway. So I don't really mind just keep firing. All right. 375. Of course, as a card, Isildur is going to bluff a reasonable percentage as well because Mark has to fold basically all his flush draws and that he's cool with on the flop. As well as, I guess, some just random high cards. Hard to see him folding ace high though. Oh. Does make the call. So 1.5 million chips in this pot going to the river. Ten. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ten, of course, would have been a chop. Check. River and eight, though. And Mark checks it over to Isildur once more. Now, Tyler, as we can see, cutting out. What sort of sizing? So he's going about half pot. Is that a bit more than half pot? You just you like a, a bigger size here, a smaller size? Ah, jeez. Uh, if they had a little bit more history, maybe a bigger size. But uh, I mean, it's my, my point is, it's, it's I imagine quite hard for Isildur to give Mark credit for pulling out with ace high, given he has two aces in his hand, right? Right, he's, exactly. He's expecting right. to see a full house more often. That is exactly right. So the bigger sizing makes a lot of sense there. Eight seventy-five the bet. Do you feel you've checked pool twice against Isildur and he's fired the third bullet? Wow, 
Uh, Mark does oh, make wow. the call. And we'll <laughs> <laughs> That's the bad news. Fabio says that Victor Blom is running so good. <laughs> Certainly picking up some hands at the moment. Yeah, so we got a couple of hands yesterday as well, actually. See, they're up to 59 big blinds. Here you can see there, 17 remain. We are one away from our redraw. We get to the last two tables. One look at Mark McDonald. Had a big stack for a decent portion of this tournament now. Still our table chip leader. With 54 big blinds. John then with 21 big blinds in the cutoff. He's jack off. Obviously, Mark the table chip leader, but with only just above average, so you can see a lot of chips on the other two tables in this room. Jonathan is going to raise it up with his ace jack. Watson, 10 7 offsuit in the big blind. That's cool. I'll go heads up. Heads up. Well, 7 8 8. Michael takes the lead with his 7. So let's check it. Jonathan's ace high. Imagine Tyler, I was going to say, you can check back here. He doesn't want the pot to get too big with just ace high. Figures had the best hand a lot on that board, and even more so now. Third eight's emerged. And this is a spot where Michael just can always bet and bet pretty big, right? Because Jonathan's check back has showdown value a lot, I guess. Yes, but if he was checking back just over cards, now he's probably going to pull the trigger and represent ace high, so. You could get action if you check. He's bet 300. Expect against the hand as good as ace jack high action either way. Again, I don't think we're seeing a fold here. He does, of course, make the call. We need to an ace and a jack or an eight on this river. Oh, there's the ace. Easy wow. game. <laughs> Easy Poor Watson's going to be in a really tough spot again. I mean, when he checks, Jonathan's just... He's just going to expect Jonathan to pile this river with nearly everything. Everything that isn't value and an ace and an eight and a seven. But he's not piling it with things that are like... I mean, I don't think he's piling with things that are like fours or king-queen. All oh, right, so you, you think he'd check back those and just hope to be good, I, yeah? I think so. King anything, I guess. Well, he has put enough chips into the pot. Let's put Watson all in. And for the second time in a row, he's in a <laughs> horrible guy. spot. This is brutal. First one may be a little bit more of his making my bet the turn. He, he did invite himself to be in a tough spot. This one, just unfortunate run out. I mean, Jonathan has played this. We could easily have ace high, right? He's checked back for flop, but ace high figures be good on almost yeah, all the time. Calls a turn bet and now shoves a river win. Checked to. What kind of hands can he be calling with on the turn and then bluffing the river? It can't be that many. I guess it all comes down to whether you know you think he's going to bluff some of those king highs he's called in the turn or whether he's just going to try and take him to showdown. I mean, these guys would have played a lot with each other through the years. Yeah. Mike Sir Watts online probably played a lot on along with, with Ape Styles, John Van Fleet. So I remember those two back in the day online MTTs. I actually remember once in the like the hundred rebar online, being near the bubble. And then the hundred rebar online used to have like a eight hundred min cash or something. 
and I ran a big bluff on uh, <laughs> on Michael Watson on the bubble, and it didn't work. And the sense of moment, I went, "As this guy, why he's made he the call?" The call. Shrugs and calls enough. will get the bad news. Um, well, <laughs> partly maybe the, the the previous hand playing into that thought process. He's like, "I can't fold again, surely." <laughs> Will depart. I believe then yeah. with that we are down to 16. We're going to get a new featured table here now, huh? We will get kind of like uh, sick brags coming out here. <laughs> kind of looks like this one, but I've heard that uh, there's some nicer brand that Hublot copied. That's probably what's going on there. Well, Kevin again with a playable hand, three bets. Then raises, then raises again, this time with the ace-queen. <coughs> What's the most viewers you've ever gotten? Like a session 16K? Jonathan calls so from a, the like small blind, blind with a six of diamonds. I chopped a uh, scoop, scoop two fifteen warm up. People like don't flap the small blind very often, so you, you can kind of define nice your hit. opponent's range yeah. a little bit when they do. Right, well, this is for Gal. Eight high, yeah. but double so gut shot and a flush draw. No, 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 no. Jonathan you top pair. Any stream for free. It's just if you want to pay five bucks to subscribe, you pay five bucks. Not a lot of times you lead into the razor, but this might be one of them. So you have top pair and it's a pretty vulnerable top pair. You'd like to just end the hand right now. Flex has like 2,000, like 2,100 or something like Sub. subs, and I have like 1,100. That, that really comes down to like consistency. It's pretty crazy on Twitch and shit. Like people who average like 300, 400, 500 viewers, yeah. like they just stream, like a lot of them just stream like literally seven days a week. You might like want to get aggressive with this. And even though they big blind, you can viewers, represent pretty much anything. Subs. You can have the 7 3, we can have the deuce wow. 3, we can have right. anything. So. I always thought it'd be like a lot harder. I mean, to you get just go to the call. Pretty easy now for Kevin to get out of the way. I, I, get, I get virtually none. Like Spraggy, like if you know who that is, yeah. like he, he gets a decent chunk and. Lex gets a bunch Sometimes of you can oh, get aggressive like later if you want. Video yeah, and yeah. Starcraft, yeah. of course. And they like give you money, but if they well, want to take appeal. Money, then the exactly. big turn there for Jonathan gives him a top two like now. Don't you know? change too much for Gal, though. It still has yeah. that live straight and flush draw. One point two in the pot. You know, they have three point seven. These days, tell me I'm a losing player, so they should really be fucking hucking that money at me so I can keep going. This is true. <laughs> Talk has really spiced up the uh, table chat. He is a funny guy. I want them to unblock the shark scope of all the stars pros. I think that would be an interesting day. Mine's blocked. Yeah, I know. But I'm like pretty open with like everybody. Like I just, I don't know. Let's just block for now. Meanwhile, though, Tyler, Gallop's in a weird he spot here. Right. Yeah. He doesn't need to look me up. Jonathan's led twice on this, calling from the small. He knows every this is a spot Gallop thinks he could, he could make a big one. bluff. He's had a lot of equity against doesn't most of his hands. He might be able to get a two pair hand to fold, but not a six. Right, maybe that's four, five, five, six, five, four. Those hands could actually <laughs> fold. But it's, um, it's hard even to give. I mean, obviously, we can see Jonathan's got top two, but it's hard to give him that many. He's beat the like ace four, ace five, ace six. The call from the small blind. You I think that the other day, that's what he has. Know, like everybody, like overbetting all the time and doing all this shit. It's like fucking. So I was just talking to somebody, and they were like, "Man, this was really had it solved, didn't wow, he? Wow, he's just cool. on again. Just was like. I mean, you could be aware that Jonathan like has a pretty hit. strong hand at this like point. If he's going to lead twice on that board, he is likely to have a pretty strong hand. I mean, I remember sitting in university in fucking. Wow, what a run out. Turns two pair rivers the house. And railing, railing their fucking like. One well, I think Gal probably field, avoided you know, getting That's why I only play limit all of his chips in. So that way you can't overbet. You just all you want to bet, you mm. only bet the limit. Too bad. Buddy. You guys play some, uh, some, some, some mix? Yeah, wow. I think. Wow. I think I'm going to check now. That's spicy. And he gets those eight hands and he fucking... What eight very, hands? very spicy, no as you oh, say. Is it six? Gal yeah. on a bit of a spot here. It's capped, though. So the 
Mm. The violence is. It's just it's a high. So he can't win a showdown. Actually, the first time I played. Forty lines, right? I don't know if he even rem remembers this. He probably doesn't, because like it was, I was playing a soldier. This is where you need some emotional like detachment because you time. thought you were going to win this hand. You had this uh, big draw, and you, you're going to get there and win a big pot, and then 20, 000, this terrible run out shows up. If you can detach yourself from that, you might more, still be aware that this is a give up spot. And all of a sudden, I was stuck, and then he crushed me through the next round. All of a sudden, I was losing 20,000. It was just like under half the pot, looks like. Oh my gosh, I'm losing your mind, dude. Like... It might have only been five out of the six. Shut up and do the old. What is it? What is it? <laughs> what is it? How much you got draft, back? Just like, draw straight down. Like, oh. Do you ever get, like, because you said a bunch, right? Like, do you ever, do you ever just get people who like, Obviously, Jonathan's hoping at this point, the gal, like, I guess, was. Um, I like 40, 80. Something. It's hard to give him, obviously, a full house, the way the sounds played out, but may have flopped his straight or something. Well, he just obviously does check raise all in. Yeah, we'll give so up the eight one high. Card. So one card. <laughs> I played like. Oh, I'm glad I didn't see that turn. Yeah. Mostly it's just regs. In hind. Lead. I don't have time to land a bunch more. Here we go. Right, Christopher's going to raise this one up. 250. Jonathan has Queen Jack on the button. Up to 6.8 million after that last hand. Ooh, three betting with the Queen Jack off right after winning the big pot. What do you think about taking Queen Jack off as one of those hands you're going to three bet bluff with? I mean, you, you, do, I mean, you dominate quite a lot of the hands that got open from the hijack, I guess. Maybe a lot of people try and take the can like that's the flop. It's not a great multi way hand when it's off suit and you invite the blinds in if you just call. I mean, if, if I'm playing against weaker competition, I think calling is fine, but once you get to a 10k, a high roller, final two tables, I think I like three betting a little bit more. Well, Chris has called with his <coughs> pair, and Jonathan's outflopped him, pairing that queen. <sighs> and once you three bet Queen Jack, how do you proceed here now when you've been called and flop a pair? Well, see, it's, it's hard to ever be up against a weaker queen. <laughs> but That's true. Pretty easy to be up against a stronger one. Well, the pot's already bloated a little bit, so you get some pretty light calls if you bet the flop. So I think you can go ahead and bet the flop. Just bet small. 450 is the bet. <coughs> I don't hate checking back against a, you know, a super aggressive, tricky opponent. You don't want to be put in a really tough spot. So checking back can get you to the river cheaper. <coughs> well, but if you're going to get called by threes, I think you should probably just bet the flop. Right, you can you can bet small there with the yeah. whole range, can't you, on queen, eight, five. Yeah. Diamond on the turn. Christopher checks it on over to Jonathan once more. Christopher does have the lone diamond in the pot. Bit of a weirder spot now for Jonathan. You feel like just really stand a check back here. Well, disregarding the um, stack sizes, this is a really similar spot to uh, Watson with his kings right. earlier. Because there's a lot of hands that are going to have to call now because they connect enough with that board. So you forego value by checking. But you keep yourself safe. You don't have to deal with a check raise. Interesting move there. Ace. Could feasibly hit either opponent. So right. either could decide to represent it. This thing, right? Chris raised pre-flop, called a three-bet, check called. Obviously a really small flop bet. So he does have... I think a choke amount of ace highs in his range. Whereas Jonathan probably checks back at his strongest ace highs right. on the flops. So maybe Chris has these a little more. And he, is he also can't win bet. if he checks. So. Ooh, this looks like a hefty go one. big. It's like 2.3, 2.4. Wow, that's a big bet.
That's not representing an ease. I mean, <laughs> no, I was about to say, this is obviously a polarizing bet, right? It's, it's yeah, a much it's more bluff or nutted hand. Um, ace is up or two pair. I mean, ace is up or a flush is basically, I guess, straights too. There's a lot of hands out there that it could be. I think it's, I think it's a feasible or a credible bet, and it's a really tough spot for Ape yeah, Style. 240. Where it started. 240. 240. Mark. 240. It's 61 to 1. All right. So, has minimum raised this one. First hand of the new blind level. He tried to raise it uh, yeah. less than the minimum, causing some confusion. Oh, we'll get to see Parker get involved finally. <laughs> you think he's going to play that one? <laughs> I've been well, wrong you've before. Been wrong a lot. <laughs> yeah, you might just kick it in. Something tells me he might three bet the bottom with aces. <laughs> what is uh, what's YYZ? Is that an airport code? <laughs> <laughs> Toronto. Is that right? <laughs> I don't know. T Toronto. Didn't say it like anybody I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he has three bet those aces. I think there's some sort of joke in the airport code. He's got American Airlines. Like, Whoa. Where, 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 where can we work? I'm just not smart enough to make the link. Jeez. Done all that. With. King 10, not kind of hand you're going to want to proceed with to a 3-bit too often. I feel like Stapleton would have worked in a better American Airlines yeah, joke there. He, he would have done. <laughs> I'm blaming jet lag. <laughs> wow, there we go. Boom. Nice job, nice That's job. That's why they pay me the small bucks. <laughs> well, Mark's not giving this one up just yet. Is he going to do something silly? Is he going for the four bet? He's reaching. Here it is, Tyler. Here it is. Right. Here it comes. Do we have <laughs> a real time punt off here? <laughs> <laughs> of course, you know, we can see Parker has aces, but there's no reason he has to have aces when he three bets the button. Mark taking King 10 and using it as, well, it's an okay hand, but it just, it's a terrible hand to call three bet with. So, besides of the hands he's open with, it's one of the nicer ones, perhaps to make this four bet with. Obviously, Asex would have been a better candidate, I guess, but a king does help somewhat. And then Tonka, it's either, I mean, just call here. I, I mean, I prefer just call here, yeah. But I don't know, it, it's tough because you're, you're not going to be calling with that many speculative hands. So your right. opponents, some alarm bells are going to go up if you call. So, so yeah, I mean, how do I mean, you balance just the call here? What hands would you have to have <coughs> in there? That's a good question. So what's the sizing here? Three bet is to 825. The four bet is to 1765. It's smallish, but it represents a large portion of their stack. So right. you're not going to be calling with too much. You'd yeah. be getting such a good price with a hand like Queen Jack suited that it's hard to fold it. Right, but he doesn't have, I mean, Parker, does he have many Queen Jack suited when he three bets the button? Sure, yeah. Okay. I mean, he doesn't always three bet Queen Jack suited. He's going to call three Queen Jack suited sometimes, but you're going to three bet it sometimes. Just the old, the old check back of the hand. What did I have again? <laughs> I mean, is everything I see more in poker? This just to me seems the biggest tell. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the alarm bells are going going to be too high with these stack sizes. Right. So he I has think it's just over pot behind. So just don't scare your opponent off of face queen and just go ahead and go all in. You know he does move all in. And well, Mark will make a quick fold. Whoops. But one. even with the alarm bells, though, if you call and the flop comes with a king or a ten, I mean, you're going to get at least one more bet from. Yeah, yeah, it was it was something that was discussed. Uh, we discussed with Philip Grusom in Barcelona about the high rollers. He said, especially on high rollers, having these chip leads at this stage of the tournament is so huge because you can exert so much pressure on the bubble of a high roller because these guys are so aware of the correct ICM strategy, they just don't go bust, especially with these big min caches. Because there's no overall chip leader here. One of these guys had, say, 100 bigs would be a lot easier to put pressure on. Mark 
Chris with jacks. He'll raise those up. <laughs> wow. Mark with Long pocket shot. tens on like the button. Like but this is kind of a ICM spot, right? You can't. It's not like it's 40 left and you can start. You want to play big pots of pocket tens. He's got to be a little bit wary that he has a comfortable stack. Absolutely, yeah. I would think that he's probably just going to call you. Exactly what he does. That's, this is a proper sweat. If, if, if we bring this one, I'm fucking winning the tournament. And uh, are they letting uh, Van Fleet sit there but folding his hand as the penalty? Because I'm not sure. I think maybe he just follows a quick throw. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe maybe he did get a penalty. I saw obviously he was spoken to. I'm not sure exactly what the result was. All good. Up. We both have a diamond for a backdoor flush draw. Check. After getting checked to, this is an interesting spot for Mark. Can can check it also. Check it back. They're both trying to get to the river cheaply, but this card should uh, yeah. make both of them a little more comfortable. Yeah, great card for both hands, and obviously they both have a diamond and a club, but I'm a little concerned with two <coughs> flush draws out there. You imagine then Christopher bet now, Tyler? I think so. I think it's going to go back call. The river might get interesting, though. Like two mil, right? like two mil, yeah. Yeah. He's been pretty big. Wow, 630. Oh, it's 530, okay. 630,000. Yeah, 630. That's a hefty bet. Two thirds of the pot. Still don't see Mark folding. This is this board is just too good for him. I mean, Mark's doing this suggestion, but as you say, it's just a, it's just a clear call, isn't it? He's not folding. He's not raising. I mean, he might be considering folding. Doesn't make the call. But yeah, I mean, it could just be a timing balance thing. He knows he's calling right away and just uh, doesn't want to give that information away. Well, <laughs> card that neither player will like to see. It's an interesting river. I don't think either person is going to turn their hand into a bluff. I think we're probably mm. going to get check check. Again, Chris pretending perhaps that he has a decision to make, but like you say, it's no way you can really bet jacks on this river. No reason to turn your hand into a bluff, is there? He could throw out some kind of small blocking bet, I guess. Oh, well, and it's like, might be what he's doing. Got a pretty good read of where his opponent's at with this bet. Like you say, he doesn't want to check a face a bigger bet. If he's up against a hand like Mark has. Also, I guess, you know, some of the, the ace combos that Mark got to the river with would be you know, the, the two nut flush draws. And given that Chris has jack clubs and jack of diamonds, it does remove quite a few of the ones he would have called with pre right on the button. Maybe, yeah. He, would, he expected the three bet ace king suited. Obviously, ace queen suited would be a hand. So it's just ace jack and ace 10 suited, I guess, the ones he's thinking that get to the river and pair that ace. I think Mark's thinking of here, is he always thinking of, is it just a consideration of calling or folding, or is there any part of him you think that's lining up a, a yeah. big bluff? <coughs> yeah, there is definitely a part of him thinking that. Obviously he got caught four betting not long ago, making his big move.
I mean, the ace might actually make Mark think that Christopher can't have jacks or kings anymore. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's his move. He wouldn't ever. I don't think he'd expect Chris to bet those hands. So he's thinking where he can make him fold. So he would have had to some ace. He's open an ace, check the ace on the flop, and then bet bet. It's definitely not out of the question. This could really be in either player's hand. Time, floor. Well, he got the call clock called on him. Time has been called. Time has been called. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. This, this bet size looks like it's only an ace. Doesn't expect kings and jacks to bet like this. And how does he get an ace to this river? Raises pre, checks the flop, bets two thirds pot on the turn, which is kind of an odd sizing with ace high. So it is kind of a goofy yeah, line. Down on the river. Yeah. Very goofy line that Chris has taken here. Doesn't rip that many hands. And there we go. Mark does therefore make a call. And well. We get the bad news. Pipped by one spot. Nice hand, sir. Ooh. So Mark down to 4.4 million. Christopher nearly at the 10 million chip mark. Back to this hand in progress. Yeah, fun Jonathan's bet his gut shot to the wheel. Parker's top pair. This is, uh, looks like a C bet pre flop but, or a C bet. I think Jonathan was a pre flop raiser. Parker defended the big blind. Wow, Ooh, we're getting fancy. Doing something Raise. messy. Check raising with just the top pair. This is a Seven on not unusual line, top. Tyler. It is an unusual line, and it's what's interesting is Jonathan has the type of hand that usually takes this line. <laughs> right, the, the nut blocker, yeah. gut shot, wheel draw, and overcard. I mean, so I mean, if if I'm Jonathan, th those that's the kind of hand that I think people are bluffing with. I think that Parker has a real hand. Right. I wouldn't. I, that, that's what I would assume. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily assume a real hand is top pair with an eight kicker. But then, of course. On the flip side, he may be calling here thinking there's so many good cards that he can bluff with on the turn. Obviously, hearts, some straightening cards. He does have the turn, or he does have the position. Well, <coughs> four on the turn. Doesn't change anything. Now, Parker's brought this 2.2 million part out of position with top pair. It's kind of a very weird spot yet again here. Very tough spot for him now. That four actually takes some hands away from Parker that he could have to, right. to have been checking it. Check Two pair combos with. are less likely. Six hundred thousand. So you bet six hundred thousand. He can still be called by worse hands, such as draws and things. But there's not. This would be kind of the last chip. So imagine he puts in the pot aggressively. Wow, look at this. Look at this. I think Jonathan might think he has the best yeah. hand. I think he thinks he's up against maybe a hand like 6-7. Six, 6-7, seven. Six, seven, six, or just any two hearts. I mean. Wow. Well, ace on the river will do it for Jonathan. He now has the better hand. Well, Parker's built this big pot that he's almost certainly going to lose. 3.5 million in the pot. Let's check. What does Jonathan do here? I mean, can he can he value bet this? I'd be surprised if he does, but and you think Parker does not check raising one pair too often that flop, so it's either bluffs or two pair plus and those hands are either gonna fold or have you beat on this river. Wow, he really I think he just has Parker pegged here. It's 
Man, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and he's gone big as well. 1.9 million. 1.9 million. This is incredible. I mean, it's just so. Uh, I mean, it's a, an amazing bet if you if you could see Parker's cards, but it's yeah, so hard to get Parker. Absolutely. He's either got better than a pair or bluffs nearly all the time here. But he has made this check raise with just top pair in the flop and put himself in this really difficult spot. I mean, Jonathan, of course, himself has all the big hands on the flop. He's bet the flop and called a check Why race. Eight? He's going to slow play a lot of big hands, right? Yeah, absolutely. kind of wish like a king or a queen came on the river because I just wanted to see how they were going to play that. Well, how long does Parker wait to cause the clock on someone? <laughs> <laughs> exactly two and a half minutes. That's what he said. <clears throat> I hope Mark was timing this one. <laughs> I think I'm a pretty quick player. I've always thought that about myself. But then uh, when playing with the shot clock, I'm exactly. surprised how much pressure. Oh, Christopher Pocket Queens. Wow, <laughs> trouble for him because he's open as queens. But Victor ran and sat behind with the aces. Just four bet the three five the hand before. He's probably going to get to five bet this one. It's at 900. when you get a hand like Queens against someone like Victor Rand, who we saw yesterday. Three bets and open so many hands. You can decide to keep the worst of a man right now. Or that, I mean, yeah, that's what I mean. Most people, yeah, probably yeah, Queens is usually right. a little bit too wide to be trapping with. It's kind of one of the hands I guess you want to pull with her value and get in, but... A little different dynamic though. Nine hands on this final. They are... Well, he does just move all in. Snap cool. Aces versus queens then. 13 and a half million chip pot on this final table. Christopher at risk. His pocket queens against the aces of Victor Randon. And, oh, just a little desperate there. Walking to such a strong hand. Can still win though. Eight, seven, deuce, the flop, two diamonds, both players with one. So Christopher will need just one of those queens. And they both have diamonds, so that's not going to work. Yeah. It's in bad shape here. We'll need a queen, otherwise he finishes ninth. He's doing the old early pay. <laughs> short putting the jacket on as the river comes three of hearts no good for Christopher Victor Randman will knock him out in ninth place Chris will pick up twenty seven and a half thousand dollars for his efforts and Victor now massive chip lead finally getting a little bit of an open open up in early position Ami is the shortest stack with Queens yeah, a little over 20 bigs I actually queens. Mormon might have less Wow, getting Just sneaky. Off. That's going to bring David in, I think. It does. David comes along with the king queen off. Mormon's probably coming in with a 10 8 suited. Yeah. If they were deeper, he'd probably three bet. I don't think he's going to in this case. 
sizing up his options. 1.4 already in the pot. It's 3.8 million. Wow! More firing it in. <laughs> yeah, wow, what a good. boss. Going for it here. Oh, he really is. I mean, obviously, Kevin's going to get out of the way, but Amy's laid the trap here with the pocket queens. Yeah, perfectly. The only saving grace for Mormon, of course, is that Amy's the only player at the table he covers. To Mormon's credit, the only way this doesn't work is if he runs into it in the blinds or uh, someone was actually trapping with their right. calls. But I mean, I guess David could have a hand like yeah, the gun behind. Could also yeah, David could be playing a hand like nines, I guess. Right. Mormon has too many chips for that. I think I think David folds those hands. It will be one. I he's jammed that. just over 20 bigs. Sorry, he's yeah, banged about 23, 24 bigs. I guess he doesn't have to call with those. But yeah, it's still be a weird spot. Well, here we go though. Amy is in great shape here to double up through Chris Mormon. Mormon will be left with well, only about a one big blind. Way behind with a 10 8 of hearts, but Mormon's got out a few yeah, of these in his life. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's fair to say. It's yeah. usually against Ace King that he gets out of them, though. <laughs> against yeah, Queens this is, is pretty tough. This is, setting yourself, this is making life difficult for yourself here. That's already a sweat, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how he does. <laughs> Ace, six, deuce. Not a lot of sweats. I mean, look at great shape here. 97% to double up. Yeah, I appreciate it. Huh? Part of the game. It's poker. Oh, oh, 10 gives Mormon a pair. Wait a second. Oh, here we go then. <laughs> 10 or 8 on the river <laughs> for <Everyone> Mormon. <laughs> Otherwise, Amy will double up. Three of diamonds on the river. No good oh, for Chris. Still and still you can see there. He's going to be left yeah, with. I think you have like 200 <laughs> No, I don't think so. These they, they yeah, I know they went, but... Do our graphics, he has 10,000? Yeah, he might just be down to 10,000 chips. Wow, we might we might experience that crazy situation. Don't fucking dare. Both of them. Well, Moore is right. Suits are covered. Parker said he would give up a pinky rather than double up Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's in a spot to do it. <laughs> Someone run out there. Take a pinky. Six Make a big pull, like two so turns or something. No, it was a sign out. Hit six. I figured you had a big pair, but let me see. Fold into you, but I wanted to call just because of that. They're just in case. Please <laughs> let me keep the pinky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well then, Mormon at risk here. Eight left. We'll need a lot of help here. Ace Jack four, no good. Need a six. Stay alive. Three of diamonds on the turn changes nothing. Mormon then looking for one of those two sixes. It is a seven. <laughs> Crossbar. So Chris Mormon leaves in eighth place, gets himself $35,000. But it does make the call. It's 450, right? These two will go heads up to the flop. 3.9 already in the middle. No sign this one's slowing down. <laughs> these guys, these guys yeah. are going for it. Yeah, it wasn't that small of a three. I mean, it was a smallish th squeeze, but uh, when they only have they have 40 bigs between all of them, it's not it's not that small because it's still a lot of pressure on your stack. Well, Ten, five, six, two diamonds. Jonathan has a backdoor flush draw. A bet of 1.1 million. That's pretty small. So when he gets called here, or I mean, he could easily get raised here, but if he gets called here, uh, he hasn't defined his holder's range much because this, the bet's just too small. Right. Isadol, you know, most likely just call here because 
Well, he's in position. He doesn't necessarily want to get the whole lot in here in this spot. And it's hard for his opponent, I guess, to go completely ape. See what I did there? <laughs> With lovely, his, uh, lovely. Well, he has turned a gut shot, Jonathan. Let's say six minutes in the pot. Is he really going to put Idlda to the test here? Uh, it's hard to get anything that was going to call the flop to fold now. Except that bet was so small that a big bet could do a different, would mean something else. Right, but he has to basically risk the whole stack now, doesn't he? To yeah, he does. To make this bluff. It's one of these spots where you ask yourself, how am I in the six million chip pot with the king three? What happened? I mean, this is a spot where you can give yourself a decent price since you bet so small on the flop. He could bet around two million to give himself a decent price at, price at hitting the river. If he doesn't get jammed on, but probably will get jammed on. Wow. That's, that's exactly what he's trying to do, but uh, I think Isler's going to put it in. Two million is the bet. Well, so we can see Jonathan's way out of line here, but does Isler know that? Does he know that he's going to be making this play as wide as this? Is it using a rare time chip? All of Jonathan's uh, sizing has been consistent with very good hands, too. This is a horrible spot for Isolde. He's just not going to get bluffed again on the river, so I think you just take the equity you got, put it in now. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Man, I mean, I can't. <laughs> I can't really fault it. It just looks so strong. It does. It's it like looks very. And then Ami flats the bottom of Queen at hearts. And that one. David in for cheap from the big blind with 7 5 of spades. That's the kind of hands you want to have to take on the aces. Well, Queen wait, wait. 9. Deuce, Ami flops top Check. pair with a backdoor flush draw. Check. Isolde's ace is still out in front. Dave with nothing but the Check. backdoor spade draw. And look at this. Checks all the way around. And Queen on the turn. <laughs> this, this is... This Isolde checks the, the flop. Yeah, he huh? checks and checks again. And now Ami's going to bet. And there's obviously Seven. Isolde, I don't think, gives him credit for checking back on ace on this board. So he's going to, I guess, play his two check calls. Seven hundred thousand. The bet. So you Dutch or German then, or something? Yeah, you can't read Dutch or German. Wow! Wow! Well, he's <laughs> going yeah, for the min awesome. check raise. He wants to join in with these crazy raises. Obviously, feeling a player like Ami's not going to fold anything for seven hundred thousand more that he's bet for value. So strange. Jamie can't even really love it, I don't think. I mean, I <laughs> right. assume he's going to call and see what happens. It does indeed make that call. 4.8 in the pot. It's 3.4 behind. Oh my oh, word! What a Two. river for Isolde. That uh, and just snap he moves all in. All in. The, uh, the check raise on the turn, it's funky. It's, it's kind of like a the limit hold'em play where you raise to make it so that the next street you can get a cheaper card. Right. So the river, he's he get to show down cheaper by doing that check raise. If he checks again, he might not have to pay much or anything. Well, what he did do was check raise with two outs, ping them on the river, and now he has moved all in. I'm mean, eating a world of hurt here. I could see him getting away from this one. Not saying it's easy or that he even should, but I can see it happening. I don't know how he can. What's Isolde supposed to have here? The line is super funky. 
Ami has, as you were saying, I mean, basically the best hand he's ever got here. Didn't check back queen nine two. I don't think of anything better. And you're playing Isolde. He's throwing in a few time chips. Is it to take this line with a queen? Uh, well, I don't think I've ever seen this line, period. <laughs> there so. we go. <laughs> it's so weird. He, maybe he does it with uh, nines full or deuces full. Or ace queen. Wouldn't expect him to have aces. <laughs> There's also a chance that the turn was a weird bluff, and now he just has a pair of aces. And wow! Good. <laughs> Ami lets it go. He doesn't think <laughs> it can be a bluff. Incredible. I mean, he can't beat anything but a bluff, right? I mean, yeah. he's like shoving an eight. Oh, well, queen, eight, deuce, one heart, Tyler. He's halfway there. <laughs> there's there's a chance. Okay. I'll take that. Just one more heart, you know? Just a queen then. Oh, Parker will be the next man out. <laughs> Unbelievable. It is a queen. Okay. It is a queen. Parker Talbot. <coughs> King Queen against Kings. Rivers. Reasonable. Chip. Trip Queens. Two outs, so what? Wow. Saying they say in baseball. Shouldn't have talked to the on that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I started panicking. <laughs> He will need help. Well, that is not help. Not Jack 842 diamonds. Kevin now wow. picks up the nut flush draw. Go with the ace queen high. We had the 10 of diamonds anyway, so we needed one of the other 10, so it didn't do too bad to him. He needs to avoid a diamond first. Well, that double, gives him a double, double gutter. King or nine. That are not diamonds. It is more Six. out. About. One has got to do it on note. And the Jack of Spades luck, will Good seal play. his fate. Well, Illida will raise up sevens. Kevin flat ace five off from the button. David well, makes it 2.85 from the small. This could be trouble for Isildur here. Five handed, about 30 bigs. David has squeezed. Shocked if Isolde doesn't jam this one. Oh, oh he has called. Call. Should say be shocked if he doesn't play this one. Call's interesting, but he is in position. Right, that's it. Okay, he only has just a little bit of a pop back, but he knows he should know roughly what the good flops are. Obviously, against Jax, he's in trouble. Well, oh, queen, queen, six. Looks like curtains. One million two hundred and fifty thousand. David bets 1.25. Should look back to Isildur. Very interesting to see how he plays this hand. It's just oh. <coughs> cool. And Tyler, a big pot forming, 9.5 in the middle. Isildur with 6.7 back. It's an interesting just call because you give your opponent a decent price to hit whatever he has that you beat.
check. On the flip side, though, you perhaps get to show them when you are beat. It is possible. Need a player with a spade. David checks it, huh? It's all the about 2.4 million. Two million and so 400. Perhaps I'll get the showdown here and have 4.3 million back. constantly surprised by the the superstars uh, the ability to play multiple streets on such a short stack yeah it's it's really <coughs> eye-opening when you watch guys like Isidore play they they do get so many more decisions in in a hand that you might expect because of that you figure the more decisions you make the bigger your edge Let's see 4.3 in there 14.3 in the middle. I'm all in. <laughs> all in. I guess he's trying to get David to hear him off with like I, what Ace King with a spade. Value bet, but <laughs> so thin. Looks like David wants to fold. So so thin this bet. You're risking your torment life here. There's no way Isolde thinks he's bluffing here, does he? No. I, it's, <laughs> it can't be. No. It's not bluffing. Sure thinks he's up against, I guess, he has some high card big spade. Wow. <laughs> was just going for a super sick bluff. Still pretty deep. And yeah, wow. David does just flat. Whoa, look at this hand. <laughs> now with the raise and the flat in there. I don't see him just calling here. I no, think he's we've seen him try to play for stacks. He's definitely made some squeeze plays already today as well. And of course, these yeah. guys will know all the hands that have been played. So, picking up calling chips. Nine hundred, right? Yeah. Wow, oh. just calls. Look at Victor with Ace Five <laughs> Diamonds, and he's got that's what, nineteen big hand. blinds. This I mean, that's also a jammable spot. Right. It looks like he wants to just take it though to the flop. And he's four hands, four handed. That we might not have a three That's bet. That's unbelievable. It looked like he wanted a call right away. Now it looks like he wants to put it in. Oh, he decides that. Wow. <laughs> I waited too long. I'm just going to call. Four way flop. <coughs> four hand again. But we've got two. Oh, good hands. <laughs> ace by suit, ace king, and two pocket tens. Somehow we've not seen a three bet. Queen, six, deuce. Who wins the pot? The quick. tens are quick. chopping. No, who's going to win the pot? Quick. David. Victor. <laughs> Just pick the most unlikely. You, you, <laughs> you got me. <laughs> we got a bet. No, I'm not betting. You got I'm me. I'm not betting. 1.8 million C bet. Oh. David does make the call. Oh. Brutal spot for Jonathan. Yeah, he's funny. Thought it that quick. Yeah, I'm yeah. surprised too. Really, a lot of the time there, David is calling with a smaller pocket pair. Just Queen X. Could be Queen Ace. So I was looking at this. Kevin's not done yet. Firing. 4.4. Quick bet. 
some authority. Now this gets a stupid spot for David, right? Yeah. This guy's C-bet four way and now wants <coughs> to fire the turn into the chip leader. 4.4 million. I mean, it looks so strong. And he might put some stock into what happened there physically, just grabbing the chips so quickly and authoritatively right. and fumbling them and... Yep, he's not not done yet. Oh. Now is Kevin done? Kevin has over half the pot left in his stack. Is he gonna pull, fire the last shell, empty the clip, as they say? No, he's not. He gives Check up. it down. Pretty sure David's gonna give up also. Happy to turn the hand over. Oh, oh, man, man. I mean, this is the, the realm of turning in, in pretty good hands into random bluffs. Absolutely, that's true. Couldn't say anything today, but he does check it back. Let me see what Jonathan says when he sees those two tens. Never get it. Wow, David now with 50 yeah, of the 80 million in play in his yeah, stack. That's a big one for him. When I tell you what, Ace King, I never win with Ace King. Can you do three? Um, you never win with Ace King, and Silda never, never wins with Jax. I saw Kevin did. It looked like he wanted to fold the Ace Queen. But <laughs> Ace Nine is definitely going in. So here we go then. Kevin at risk of elimination. His Ace Nine against David's King Jack of Clubs. We go then. Deuce seven three. All good for Kevin. And the river pairs the deuce. So another double up here of the deal. <laughs> I mean, they definitely induce you here at the playground. It isn't a tournament clock. It shows you at all times what, <laughs> yeah. the, what an even shot would be. Then these guys are just like. Let's just get it done. Check. <laughs> Check. Check. David checks back the ace of diamonds on the king 532 diamond board. Kevin is ahead with his pair of kings. One point eight. David does cool with his ace high on the turn. Jack on the river. Three point five. Pretty quick bet yet again. Three point five million. Show the bluff. It's good for the game. <laughs> Kevin raising yep. King 7 from the small. David defends 10 6 from the big. Oh, wow, what a flop for David. Top pair and a flush draw. Check. Check. Kevin does check it on over. 1.3. Call. Quick call from Kevin with the King 7 here. Non-believer in the house. Queen on the turn. Does give him a gut shot. Check. It's not a card that Dave's going to like seeing too much, right? A lot of the check calls check. <coughs> do get improved by a queen. Correct, and he does check it back. And he makes going to like that one. I wonder if Kevin tries to bluff his way out of this hole he's got himself into. <laughs> that is the case. Here comes the raise. raise. Ten million. Ten million five hundred thousand. <laughs> Kevin's like, I'm in this spot. Ten million and five hundred thousand. Hmm. How did I find myself here? Find a three bet. You can do it. <laughs> oh, oh. <no. laughs> Maybe. Okay, David maintaining this chip lead. 
<laughs> to 44 million. Don't think he's ready to chop it just yet. <laughs> he hasn't had to go for a few orbits, so it's only yeah. fair he gets them again. He's going to defend. The right. reverse implied odds go out the window when you only have that many chips. So, <laughs> just trying to flop something and go with it. Well, that's <coughs> something. Three, four, Jack. And here it comes. I think we're going to see a oh, check rep. Maybe. Just check. He does check. Here comes the bet. I do think Jonathan's going to jam here. But I don't know. He might be one of those heroes that likes to play uh, three streets. <laughs> with uh, all in. <laughs> I'll do one. it. Well, he will be called, and he is at risk now of oh, being good. eliminated. Jonathan will need a queen or a three. I'm in trouble. Whoa. Otherwise, oh. it's his kings will eliminate him. I got queen three. Okay. So I got outs. <laughs> <laughs> you do have I outs. got outs. Five of them. Two times. Oh, oh Jack on the turn. <coughs> Removes the queen as an out. Just one of the remaining threes will do it for Jonathan. And a king on the river just for good measure. Victor improves the king's fall. Jonathan leads us in fourth place. Picking up $90,000 for his troubles. Yeah, well, a very protracted four-handed battle there. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice to see uh, Ape Styles back in the live arena. Yeah. Well, Victor raises the 6-4 clubs from the small blind. Kevin defends 5-4, and the 5-7-9 flop gives Victor a straight draw. Kevin does have a pair. Well, looks like he wants to raise with bottom pair. Raise four million. Oh, Victor oh. snap Victor's calls. Snap calls. Just so quick, like I you say. I thought Victor might consider putting it in there. Hot okay. size bet behind. And wow, what a turn card this is for Victor. Gives him the straight. Yes. Kevin drawing now just to a chop, but he's pulling out some more chips. It's not going to slow him down, apparently. 2.5, the bet, and snap <laughs> all in <here> from Victor. <laughs> and I think Kevin realizes that he's toast in his hand. <laughs> Bottom pay, you'd imagine going so. going to give it up. And he's kicking himself for betting again on the turn there. And well, Kevin does move all in. And here you go, Victor snap calls. Victor, King Jack of Clubs against Kevin's ace knight. It's exactly the same spot Kevin doubled up before. And while Jack eight three, Victor flops top pair. Kevin now needing an ace. Well, he will leave us in third place. Well, nine on the turn. Does give him a couple of extra outs. Well, River is a deuce. Kevin will be our third place finisher here. He's going to walk off with $120,000. I need a break. Uh, can we just take a break now? You want a break? Yeah, Well, they are going to have a scheduled break anyway. I gather we are going to quickly hear from Marinella. I'm guessing she's going to grab Kevin on his way out before we go on this break. Oh, David's uh, employing the button limp strategy, heads up. Surprise this deep, though. Let's see if they maybe got to 30 big blinds, but 60 plus bigs deep. Well, Victor will fire out with his open and straight draw. This could be all over right here. <laughs> 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 I'm 
just kidding. Okay. We got a goal from <laughs> David. Well, David, I think, is very content to play as many pots as possible against Victor. That's Keep what things it looks small. like. Six million into four point two. I think he overbet the flop as well. Just a little bit bigger than the pot. Monteva going nowhere with bottom pair. Eleven point four in the pot going to the river. If it is a four. Let's give Victor a pair. Checks it. Can't imagine David doing anything but Monster. checking. And there it is. Oh, David Five. pulling out a three bet from the big blind with Queen Five. Four point five. Kind of a big or er, big open and kind of a small three bet. Yeah, right. Wow. Out of position. Victor calls the three bet with the nine six off. Did say? Did make it cheap for him. It was. It was getting a good price in position. Well, <laughs> ace, nine, four, now takes the lead with his pair of nines. David's going to have to continue with the ace. Right, it's the first time he's three, but heads up. You can't have you not go barreling at this ace. Yeah. Three point seven. <coughs> it does go small, which yeah. makes sense. At least one call. Oh. So a big pot brewing here, 16.4 in the middle. Oh. Good card for Victor. Yeah, less likely David can have an ace and take some credibility away. It is a three bet pot. He could go for all three streets. He's lining something up. Six point nine million the bet. Yeah, he's basically betting Victor's hand. Six point nine. I have 20, uh, 27 more, or I have this, but. That is 6.9 million. They both have about 30 left in their stack. It's a real tough spot here for Victor. It is. That is a good card for him. It takes some credibility away from David, but uh, extension. Oh. it's still a tough spot. Wow. If he calls, uh, he might be facing a shove on the river or at least another 10. Yeah, can't begrudge him holding that. And so David caught up towards 50 mil. You give David credit. Lead. Yeah, it was, a, it was a strong play. I think even though he got called in the flop there, it was the first three bet pot. Yeah, he's he's coming forward. Just thought well, I'm going to follow through on this one. Victor has to be some sort of respect. Six. David will raise it up. Victor defends Jack four and Jack nine seven. Each player makes top pair. Three. David does make a C bet. Call. Make to calls. Wow, five on the turn. Okay. David in great shape here. Spell doom for Victor, that's a tough one. <coughs> 5.8 in the pot. All depends how big David goes here. 3.8. Go. Victor quickly calls. So 13.4 in the pot. Victor has 19 million behind going into this river. There's some rivers that could save him. Oh, that's one <laughs> of them. <laughs> Just as Dave was thinking, how much can I bet on this river? How much are you going to get paid? It'll be close to winning. So, can I still bet this? 
now it's going to be back down to 3.8 or whatever. Hey, Cole. Cool. 4.2. Chop it up, boys. Uh, chop it up. Seven. Chop it up. Chop. You know, I was thinking they change these chips up so they can play the 350-700 level, but is there any point someone's going to fold the button? <laughs> hey, surely you're going to lose call anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just be 700-700. Yeah. should have done it. There it is, the oh, trophy here. Thing. Party That's Poker cool. Millions at North America. High roller champion. Bit of a mouthful. No hearts or spades on there, huh? Just diamonds and clubs? Just, just diamonds and clubs, buddy. Some high-level art that I do not understand. But I like it. I'll explain it to you wow. later. Oh, yeah? oh, thanks. Decode it for you. It looks like it needs decoding. First final table here of the festival. Playground Poker Club Montreal. Call. 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 Option. Raise. Two million total. Okay, in. David raising up to two million. Do all the uh, party poker millions North deal. America trophies look the same, or is that just the high roller trophy? Yep, they all, all look the same as that. So you got a chance, Tyler. <laughs> all right. <laughs> 1K day two tomorrow. You and just a few other hundred people are playing in. You get him, buddy. More chips than most of them. It's true. Come on, 1.9. Raise all in. Well, this could be it. Dave has raised. Victor has moved all in. Uh, Instantly moves all in. Yeah. I mean, David asking for a count, but I can't imagine whatever the answer would be that he'd ever fold a pair of tens here heads up against Victor. 25-4. No, of course not. 25-4 total? Yeah. Come on, not. Well, still thinking, but he does make the call, Tyler. Here we go. Victor at risk with his ace three. David's tens, if they were to hold, would crown him the champion here of our high roller. Sorry. Of course, if Victor were to spike that ace, he would take the chip lead heads up. 50 to 30. Emotion being shown at the moment. A little bit of frustration from Victor. He thinks he got slow rolled. With, uh, David thinking about that. Well, wow. 10 at 9 okay. 6 flop. That's a pretty good window, Cole, when you've got 10s against ace 3. There's a chop run out. It is, <laughs> yeah. 7 7 8 for a chop, but. Well, here it comes. <laughs> Tyler's called it in. Oh, An 8 goodness. for the chop. Any other card, and David will be our champion. Jack of spades on the river. That is it. Victor Ramden finishes in second place. He will pick up $180,000. But it is David Eldridge who wins this title of $300,000. And he will forevermore be the Party Poker Live Millions in North America high roller champion. 2018. If he can, you know, <laughs> get that out any bars to show off, then good luck to him. Uh, 180,000 is not a bad constellation prize. Good start for Victor to the trip. Yep, and as you said, he's not been playing much lately, <laughs> but he said he's back, and he's back with a bang here. All right. Second place finish in a 10K. Always good, and of course, the 25K tomorrow. May, of course, see him in there now with that money in his pocket. Seems pretty likely. And I go, David. Nice win for David. Texting his buddies, his wife, yeah. girlfriend, I don't know. They were obviously watching as we are half an hour behind. <laughs> They're going to text Don't worry, guys, it's over. <laughs> you don't have to send me any more hands. I've won it. <laughs> it's a pretty nice feeling. Let's see if I can grab him real quick. I was impressed, though, on the final, Tyler. He seemed to be the one that's most in control um, through this Absolutely. final table. Obviously, made that big block.